Hey guys, so we do have iOS 7.6 here and we're gonna do some benchmark test like I always do or I do it a lot of times because people are interested, people want to compare against their own device which may have an earlier version of iOS uh, so iOS 7.6 should bring out an update to some kind of key log thing that people will be able to track your whatever you were typing <laughs> so if you were typing porn in Google, maybe someone, someone read that or even worse, maybe password, wow. If someone could see your password, that's not gonna be very good for you. That's gonna be bad. It's gonna be really fucking bad, I think. So we are going to open up Geekbench, this little wonderful app, Geekbench 3, the latest version of this app you can see here. Start off iPhone model, iPhone 5S, iOS 7.6, Apple A7. It's still only dual core <laughs> in iPhones, pretty interesting. Uh, gonna be cool when they go to quad core. Uh, one gigabyte of RAM, RAM, RAM. Yeah, that sounded like Swedish. It's because I'm a Swede. But let's run this test. I mean, we nerds, we always like higher and higher and higher score because it's just cool. It's just cool like that. I mean, we like it good high. We like that high feeling. Oh, we want that high feeling. Right now, I'm just trying to entertain you. I mean, I gotta do it. I mean, I made a lot of YouTube videos. You gotta try to entertain people sometimes. Pretty interesting single core score here, 1,411. Uh, when I do this test on like the Sony Spirit Z Ultra, I get a single core score of 900. Uh, but it's a quad core device, so I get a total score of around 2,800. Uh, but this device is just killing <laughs> with the uh, with the cores. I mean, the cores are fucking bananas in this phone. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same test and if it works exactly the same. Uh, but this is the score that I was getting now, 1411. Let's try again. It looks bananas. I know you like bananas. <laughs> I know you like bananas. I know you like the banana, the banana. Is this the banana? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Okay, this go around 1410. So very, very identical. It doesn't jump around uh, around that much as we usually see in Android devices. So uh, this is what we're getting in iOS 7.6. I don't remember what I got in 7.5, 7.4. Uh, but if you have a device running that, of course you can just try it out, compare it maybe, and you can kind of see if they have increased or decreased something in the background maybe perhaps uh, it's just cool for nerds to see if something is going up so yeah quick click